I completed 75 hard back in September of 2021 and it was genuinely one of the best experiences of my life. With the new year coming up, I know there are a lot of people who want to make substantial changes and they're considering doing 75 hard. So I thought now would be a good time to share my experience with the program and give some advice. In case you aren't familiar with 75 hard, here's a quick overview. 75 hard was created by entrepreneur Andy Frisella when he really wanted to take himself to the next level. He was already running several successful companies including First Form, but he knew that if he wanted to get to the next level, he needed to improve his mental toughness and discipline and thus 75 hard was born the program itself is pretty simple there are five tasks that you must do every day for 75 days first you must follow a diet it can be any diet you want but no cheat meals and no alcohol second you must drink a gallon of plain water every single day third you must complete two separate 45 minute workouts every day one of which must be outside fourth you must read 10 pages of a non-fiction or personal development book and finally you must take a progress picture every single day well there's nothing too difficult about any one of these singular tasks, completing each one of them every day for 75 days straight requires you to build a mental fortitude and discipline that you likely haven't used before, which is exactly why I did it. Prior to starting 75 hard, I felt like I was stuck, just not really progressing. As a grad student, I wasn't where I wanted to be with my research. As a content creator, I just wasn't producing like I previously had. Aside from that, I was just straight up out of shape. Like, really out of shape. I would get winded walking up the stairs to my fourth floor apartment. Standing tucks were difficult. I was still lifting, but I was doing minimal cardio. I was eating a lot of crap food and going out and drinking several nights a week. I felt terrible and I looked terrible too. A real low point for me is when I was told that I looked like the video game character Wario. Don't get me wrong, he's a great guy, but not necessarily somebody I want to embody. So I made a plan and decided to do 75 hard. For my diet, I used the RP Diet app. With this app, you put in your stats like your height and your weight along with your goals and daily schedule. The app then generates your macronutrients for each meal. You choose which foods you want to eat, but the app tells you exactly how much of each food to weigh out and eat. For my hydration, I went out and bought a water bottle that holds just over a quarter gallon. Then I just had to drink four of these throughout the day. I tried to drink a full bottle during each of my workouts, so then that just left two more bottles to drink throughout the rest of the day. For my workouts, I did a combination of partner stunting, lifting, and running slash walking. As for my reading and progress picture, I just tried to knock those out as early in the day as I could. Even with a solid plan to follow, I still struggled often, but I had something to fall back on when things got hard. And now for the part you've all been waiting for, my results. I'm going to talk about the physical changes first. While this program is primarily designed to build your mental toughness, your physique is going to start reflecting your level of discipline. So here are my pictures from day one and day 76. As you can see, I made some pretty substantial changes here. You can definitely see a difference from the front, but I think the biggest changes can seen in the pictures from the back. When I look at these, I have a hard time believing that the guy on the left was me. It's interesting because I knew I was out of shape when I started, but I didn't realize how out of shape I actually was until I started seeing changes in my daily progress pictures. In addition to these pictures, I also have quantitative evidence of improvement. Being an Ohio State athlete, we have our body compositions measured pretty regularly with these Sika scans, where you stand on this machine and it runs electricity through your body and does some fancy math to figure out how much fat and muscle you have. I lucked out and got tested right before starting 75 hard, and then again right around day 60. So here are my scan results. I added this difference column to see the change. I was able to lose over 20 pounds pounds and 5% body fat while only losing about 3 pounds of muscle, which is awesome. In addition to the body comp changes, I also had some performance improvements. At the beginning, it was a struggle to walk more than a few miles without having to stop and walk. Within just a few short weeks, I was able to run for 45 minutes straight without needing to stop at all. The pace was pretty slow, around a 10 minute mile, but I was able to maintain that pace for the entire time. By the end, I was able to run 5 miles at just over a 9 minute pace, and I went on quite a few longer runs which culminated in running a marathon on my last day of 75 hard, which I'll talk about later. While my running performance increased drastically, my lifting performance stayed approximately the same, which was expected. I was putting a lot more emphasis on running and only lifting about four times a week most weeks. Being able to lift the same amount of weight while weighing 20 pounds less is awesome, especially when you take into account how much I was running and the drastic lever changes that happen when you lose that much weight. While the amount of weight on the bar stayed the same, pull-ups got a lot easier. I went from struggling to get 8 or 9 reps to cranking out multiple sets of 12 or more with ease. The physical changes are super exciting to see, but what sets 75 hard apart from any other sort of program is the mental edge that you gain. The way you build discipline is by doing things that require discipline. While this program is scalable, the standards are very straightforward and do not allow you to take any days off or make any substitutions. I had days where I just didn't want to work out 
or I really wanted to slam a whole pint of ice cream. I had days where I was super busy and felt like I just didn't have enough time to complete my tasks. And I had times where I was pressured to go out and drink alcohol. 75 Hard taught me how to prioritize my goals and do what's important even when it's inconvenient or unenjoyable. It taught me how to say no to temptation so I can stay on the right path. I gained the confidence to say no to things that didn't align with my goals and the ability to take things one step at a time when the going gets tough. Enough about me though, what about you? Should you do 75 Hard? Probably, but first let me tell you who shouldn't do it. If you just want to lose weight and you don't really care about any of the mental aspects, don't do 75 hard. There are much easier ways to lose weight. If drinking alcohol and having cheat meals is more important to you than getting where you want to go in life, then don't do it. I'm not saying that you can't ever do those things, but you have to be able to give them up for at least 75 days and then at least limit them to some extent if you want to continue reaping the benefits after you finish the program. And finally, you shouldn't do 75 hard if you're content with where you are in life. If everything's good and you have no desire to change, then there's no reason for you to do the program. But for pretty much everyone else, I'd recommend 75 hard. You will build a level of discipline and mental fortitude that you probably haven't experienced before, which you'll then be able to take and carry with you into anything you want to pursue. No matter what your goals are, the tools you you gain throughout 75 hard will help you achieve them. By the end of the 75 days, you will feel unstoppable. If this sounds like something you want, then do 75 hard, which brings me to my first tip. Don't try 75 hard, do it. If you go in with the mindset that you're just going to sort of feel it out and see how it goes, it'll be a lot easier for you to come up with excuses to quit. You'll be able to say things like, oh, I tried it. It just wasn't for me. However, if you go into 75 hard with the mindset that you're going to complete it no matter what, then you'll find excuses to keep going when it gets tough. Tip number two is to take it one day at a time. People love to say that 75 hard is super extreme, but when you look at the tasks for any one single day, it's really not that crazy. All you're doing is eating healthy, drinking water, working out for 90 minutes total, reading a little bit, and taking a selfie. There's nothing extreme at all about one day of 75 hard. If you just focus on winning one day at a time, it'll be a lot less daunting, and those days will start adding up, and you'll build momentum. And before you know it, you'll have done 75 days in a row. Tip number three is to get things done early. If you get to the end of the day, and you still have to work out or read, and you're really tired, it'll be pretty tempting to say, screw it, and just go to bed. Or let's say it gets to seven o'clock in the evening, and you still have a half a gallon of water left. If you chug all that water right before bed, you're gonna be up all night going to the bathroom, and then you're gonna be more tired the next day. If you can prioritize your 75 hard tasks so that you get them done earlier in the day, you'll be a lot less stressed in the evenings. Tip number four is to push yourself. That doesn't mean you need to go all out balls to the wall with every workout. That's just not really feasible. However, if you're just going for a leisurely stroll and doing relaxation yoga every day and that's not challenging for you, then you're not really doing 75 hard and you're not gonna reap all of the mental benefits that 75 hard gives. And pushing yourself is gonna look different for everybody. For me, running at a 10 minute mile pace for 45 minutes straight was pretty challenging at the beginning but for someone else that might be a cakewalk the workouts should be scaled to your ability level and they should be challenging I also think it's a good idea to really push yourself to your limits sometimes doing things that are really hard where you really have to dig deep is how you build your mental toughness for me that was doing 4 by 4 by 48 halfway through and then running a marathon on the last day both of those were really tough for me and I think they added a lot to my 75 hard experience if you don't know what 4 by 4 by 48 is it was a challenge created by David Goggins where you run four miles every four hours for 48 hours it was really tough but I felt a great sense of accomplishment when I was done and it gave me the confidence of knowing that if I can do that I can do anything which aligns very well with the goals of 75 hard my fifth tip is have some way to track your daily progress I did the first couple of weeks without tracking what I was doing every day and it got kind of confusing sometimes I would try and think like hmm did I go for a run today or was that yesterday I wasn't really ever quite sure of what I had and hadn't completed I always ended up doing extra just to be safe so I got this notebook where every day I write down everything that I need to do and then I check it off as I go I also write down what day I'm on at the top. That way, at any given point in time, I can open up my notebook, see what I've done for the day and what I still need to do for the day, as well as what day of 75 hard I'm on. If you don't want to carry around a notebook, I know there's an official 75 hard app, but I really like the good old pen and paper. My sixth and final tip is just start. Don't wait for the perfect time. It's never going to come. There's always going to be birthdays, holidays, and get togethers, no matter what time of the year. If you wait until you have 75 free days in a row, you're going to be waiting forever. You can still go to social events and have fun while doing 75 hard. 75 hard will teach you that you don't need alcohol or junk food to have a good time at social events. I went on multiple vacations during 75 hard, including one of my best friend's bachelor parties. Did I get pressure to drink? Sure. But I didn't give in, and guess what? I still had fun, and so did everybody else. So if you're considering doing 75 hard, don't wait. Don't toil around with the idea. Just start. If you commit to doing 75 hard as it's written to the T, I can guarantee that you will come out a better version of yourself. If you want to see what a day of doing 75 hard looks like, check out this video here where I vlogged my first day of 75 hard. I'm putting out videos every week now, so hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week.